Welcome to Essential Oils 101. This class is gonna last about 30 minutes. I have a ton of visuals for you, which will really help because I'm a super visual person, and so hopefully that will keep things interesting here as we chat. Uh, class is gonna really um, lay a good foundation for you for using essential oils in your home and get you pretty comfortable and off and running. Um, the What I'm gonna talk about, I guess you could say, is I'm gonna share a personal story of mine um, with essential oils, and then we'll get into what are they, where should you get them, how do you use them, and some uses for the top 10 most popular oils out there. All right, so um, the story I want to share today, um, I've had like a lot of wow moments, if you will, with essential oils, um, but the one I'm going to share today um, has to do with my anxiety and panic disorder. Um, I've had that for about 15 years, at least diagnosed, probably a little bit more before. Um, in my life and there have been different times where I've been on medication and therapy and so I just want you to know like I have that as a really good base for myself in dealing with this um, but essential oils really have played an important role for me and so I wanted to share that because uh, isolation is really challenging when you have mental health issues um, it gives you a whole lot of time to sit there and think about what's going on in your own body and that lets that mind drift and scan and you can get stuck in these loops and so um, if to, this time has been challenging for you like I feel you uh, it's hard um, but you know find somebody you know that you can share some of this with that you can trust um, get yourself plugged into some therapy try some essential oils um, just don't give up because there's it can be it can be a whole heck of a lot better and I feel like I'm proof of that on that side Okay, so let me get into my story. Um, one day, I was starting to feel a panic attack coming on at home, and my husband, fortunately, only lives about, not <laughs> lives, works about five minutes away from our house, and it was over the lunch hour, so I called him, and I asked him to come home and be with me um, while this panic attack happened, and if you've never experienced a panic attack before, for me, it usually starts with tightness in my chest. Um, I get really shallow breathing and feel like I can't breathe and often I'll be expressing that saying like I can't breathe even though I am and my mind kind of gets stuck in this loop going around and round thinking like I'm gonna die um, I can't breathe I'm having a heart attack I'll get sweaty um, sometimes my hands will go numb and get really tingly it's a really exhausting mental and physical process for me and sometimes it will last 20 minutes 30 minutes something like that so um, panic attack started and my husband Steve came home and was sitting with me and this happened to be shortly after we had gotten our starter kit of essential oils and he you know checked in with me and then asked oh have you tried any of these essential oils that we have and I was pretty focused trying to use therapy strategies and break this loop and I'm pretty sure I was pretty sassy when I responded back but I'm pretty sure I said something like that's not gonna work like why why would you bring that to me why would you even bring that up right now just super annoyed that he even had that thought in his head and so he we went and he got the uh, stress away that's one of these oil blends that we have and I was able to put it on my wrists behind my ears on my chest and the back of my neck and when you're having a panic attack and you have anxiety oftentimes you will be scanning your body and so you know the instant something changes either for the better or for the worse and I kid you not when I put the stress weight on within one or two minutes I could start to feel my body kind of go from this to just and I just kind of relaxed into it a little bit enough where I was able to break that loop and start really using some therapy strategies and within one or two minutes my panic attack was over and I was just completely blown away I've never experienced anything like that um, before with my anxiety and panic um, and it felt really good to be able to use something made of plants and natural uh, something I didn't have to have in my system built up something I could use in that moment to help me um, something that wasn't going to have effects that lasted hours when maybe I only needed a few minutes. And I still use stress away quite a bit um, to this day. You know, sometimes I get stubborn and I maybe should use it more than I do. Um, but when I'm starting to have feelings of being overwhelmed, um, of being stressed, my mind's just going all these places and I just don't know what I should do next or what I should focus on, um, I'll put on a little bit of stress away and within a few minutes, 
things are calmed down and I can usually um, figure out my next course of action. So that's actually why I've decided to um, start selling essential oils is because it's just been so powerful for me that I feel like everybody needs to know about this because you know if I can help one person benefit um, then for me it will all be worth it. So that's sort of what has set me off on this crazy journey here with essential oils. So what are essential oils? They are actually the most powerful part of the plant. They repair and restore a plant when it is attacked or injured. And why would you want essential oils in your house? Well, oils have no yuck. They are just lemon or peppermint or lavender or a blend of those things. Um, they are distilled or cold pressed from a plant. And there are a million uses such as supporting um, systems in the human body, like your cardiovascular system or your endocrine system, which um, affects the hormones that you have. Um, they can be used to replace uh, cleaning chemicals in your house. I mean, you can literally start swapping out every single chemical in your home uh, to live a pure lifestyle. And that's something that we've adopted mostly because of my son Oliver who has asthma. And any sort of synthetic fragrance that we bring into our home, whether it's a perfume or a candle or from a cleaning product really sets his asthma in motion. And since we've cleaned up our home, made it a healthier home um, by taking all of that stuff out and putting in essential oils that um, support our immune systems and things, he's been way healthier and it's been a lot better for him. So he's kind of sort of a, a bigger, another, not bigger, but another reason why we are pretty serious about oils and having a more clean lifestyle in our home. Uh, so where should you get your essential oils? Well, I personally think you should buy and only buy Young Living essential oils. Um, I started out getting my oils from the co-op and they basically did nothing for me. And so I feel like I sort of wasted money on a product that wasn't as pure. And I'm not saying that these companies are necessarily trying to hide things, but they're not large enough. Um, they don't have the experience. They don't have the economies of scale that Young Living does. Um, they've been in business for 25 years doing essential oils. They were really the first company that started in the United States. Um, and then all the others have been sort of imitations that have broken off from them. And so when I was doing my research, uh, I learned that the FDA doesn't really regulate the use of essential oils. I mean, they can to an extent, but they're basically all grouped into what is known as fragrance, which is basically perfume. So uh, it's really up to the company themselves um, to have high standards and police themselves. And Young Living has a seed to seal promise that um, really stuck out to me and has meant a lot to me. And you can um, check it out at seedtoseal.com. Um, they're very um, obvious and transparent about their practices there, but I thought I would give you a quick rundown in about two minutes here of what does seed to seal actually mean. So what it means is that Young Living does not fractionate their essential oils. I know that's a big word, but basically that means they don't take out the heavier elements to make their oils smell better. So if you smell uh, Young Living oil compared to any other oil, it's going to spell, smell a little more earthy and a little less sweet. And that's because the industry standard takes out those heavier constituents um, to make them smell a little bit better, which is kind of a marketing ploy because our taste preferences tend to lean sweet uh, more so than any other. And when you remove those heavier elements, um, that actually affects the way the oil can work in your body and you don't get the full benefits of that essential oil. They can't work as deep, they can't work as well for you. And Young Living has come to say that we don't really care if it doesn't make as much sense marketing wise to do this, we want our oils to work the best and be the purest and so they leave it as it is. They also do not mix species of any of the same plant. They do not use weed killers or pesticides or herbicides or genetically modified seeds. They spend $12,000 an acre to hand weed their lavender plants, where the industry standard is only $60 an acre because they spray their plants with pesticides. And essential oils are even more concentrated than a crop, so all of this actually is even more important than thinking about buying organic food. Uh, it takes um, 220 pounds of lavender plant to produce only seven pounds 
of lavender essential oil. So I mean, think of all of that plant being broken down. And if there's chemicals on every single one of those plants, that's getting compacted and brought into this oil, which you're going to put on your body, which will in turn go inside of your body. So it's extremely important uh, where you get your oils from. Young Living does not distill their oils with solvents like hexane. Their soil is not tainted with mercury, arsenic, or any poison because their fields are untouched by chemicals for 50 years. That's five, zero. I believe the standard for um, a farm to be considered organic is only five years. So Young Living's seed to seal, st seed to seal standard is actually better than organic in this situation. They also do 24 tests per batch to make sure their oils meet their standards and they third party test from two um, independent accredited labs. And, excuse me, <laughs> um, their farms are open for people to go and visit. Uh, you can actually go check that out anytime during regular business hours. And I've had some friends call other oil companies to see if they could even just set up a tour with their farms and that's not been available to anybody else. Um, so that's just how serious Young Living is about being transparent. You're allowed to just go and wander around, see what's going on, talk to any of the workers that you would like. Um, they welcome that. Uh, a lot of the smaller companies that you'll find in a grocery store, they don't even know where their oils come from. They get it uh, from a third party broker um, from like the botanical market, I think, or something like that it's called. And so they're getting their oil where it's been bottled and it's done. And yes, they can run some tests on that, but they can't change the oil at that point. They don't know what happened with the soil. They don't know how those plants were treated. And so it's really kind of a, a luck of the draw, I guess, if you're going to get a good quality product every time or a good product at all. All right, so now let's get into how to use essential oils. There is three main ways to do so. Uh, first is aromatic, and the most common way of doing that is with a diffuser. You can see I have my Aria going in the background there. It's a really nice diffuser for like large open spaces. I also have my Desert Mist right here. We have one of these in everybody's bedroom. If you've never used a diffuser before, I'll show you. Inside here, there's an ultrasonic plate, and this converts. So what you do basically, let me step back, is the fill line, I don't know if you can see, is like right here. So you fill it up with water to the fill line, and for this size, you'll add about 10 drops of essential oil. And then you turn it on. And this ultrasonic plate inside turns the water and oil into a fine mist. It's not warm, it comes out cool, like you can see mine going in the background. And then there's a bunch of different settings. It can go for six hours, eight hours, 10 hours, so while you're sleeping, during the day, there's a bunch of different light settings, including a candle flicker. So you can start replacing candles or like plugins in your home with a diffuser. And so you not only swap out a chemical in your home, but you're using an essential oil, which has therapeutic benefits all of its own. All right, another way to use oils is topically. And that can be just as simple as rubbing it into your skin. Um, you'll wanna use a carrier oil with some of, of the essential oils. And so I like to use coconut oil. So this is a fractionated coconut oil where those heavier elements have been removed. So it's always gonna be in a liquid state. It's not gonna be the creamy that you find. And this little pump just kind of makes it convenient, especially if you're gonna use a roller bottle. I'll show you what that looks like if you've never seen one but you can get these off Amazon in a pack. They're little glass tubes. And you drop in your essential oil first. So for an adult, I'd recommend 25 drops of essential oil for this 10 milliliter size. Then you just take your carrier and you just fill it up to the top. And it's great for pre-mixes. So if you, for instance, with our wellness blend, it's like thieves and lemon and frankincense. We've got one for each member of the family. Uh, we pre-make it and it's got a little roller top so it's ready to just go right on. And we like to apply that to our feet in the morning uh, when we're getting dressed for the day. Also, it's great to do some pre-mixes if you have children because kids' bodies are a little bit smaller, a little bit more sensitive, so you'll want to use fewer oils um, with your kiddos. And I do have some dilution charts that will show you how to do it with your kids and do it safely. And then the last way is to ingest essential oils. Young Living has made it easy. 
they put, I'll show you two here, a white label on all of their oils that have been um, determined safe by the FDA to ingest. The colorful labels, these are for topical and aromatic use. This is for dietary use. So, you know, if it's got a white label, it's okay. And you'll want to use either a glass or stainless steel bottle um, because the essential oils will start to break down plastic. So don't put it in your plastic bottle because then you'll just be ingesting the plastic and that's kind of gross. This is an old kombucha bottle that I have. You can get cute bamboo type ones, you know, off of Amazon with like the top. Um, I just like to reuse what I've got in my house. But like one or two drops in water is really nice. Um, it's a great way to help you at the cellular level um, to flush some things out, give you a little boost of energy, things like that. And oh, one other thing I was gonna say about the um, ingesting oils is that the FDA has come out and said that you have to separate how you have your dietary oils and your topical and aromatic oils. Um, if your company is including all three ways on one, they're actually out of compliance with the FDA. The FDA doesn't really have the manpower to do anything about it, but for me, that would be a red flag um, because I wanna be using a company that's being a rule follower for sure in this case. All right, so now I'm gonna walk you through Young Living's top 10 most used essential oils. The best way to get these things is with a starter kit because this way they are all bundled for you and you're actually gonna save the most money that way. So everything that I show you, a starter kit comes with 12 oils plus a diffuser um, for $165 is where it starts. Um, if you were to purchase everything individually, you'd spend well over $400. So this is definitely the best bang for your buck. It's like the only thing on their website that's like half off. And you'll also get a Young Living membership with it so that when it comes time to refill your oils or if you want to buy any of their other products, you're going to get a 24% discount. Okay? All right, let's talk about these individual oils. So lavender is the one that I really like to start with because everybody knows lavender. Lavender is great for your skin. So the other day, um, I took something out of the oven and I burned my arm a little bit. I put some lavender on it and it took that stinging away St st excuse me, stinging sensation away pretty quickly um, and I was feeling much better. If the kids get scrapes, we like to put this on there from outside. Um, it just helps to clean that wound and to get your skin healing a little bit faster. It's also really moisturizing for your skin, so I like to include lavender um, in a body wash. It's a natural antihistamine and so I like to put a little swipe inside my nose um, nostrils, I guess that's what that's called, um, in the spring and in the fall because I deal with allergies and so this has been kind of like an allergy pill replacement for me. And also, lavender being that it's very calming, if you pair lavender with frankincense and you put this in your diffuser at night, it's going to be really supportive for your sleep and you're going to have a really great night's sleep using the two together. All right frankincense also really great for your skin but you're gonna want to think about it more as like smoothing your skin so great for um, putting in a face serum to prevent wrinkles and help you know with like some crow's feet and things like that that maybe we have going now um, if you have stretch marks mixing some with coconut oil it can help to um, make those go away um, also great if you have any scars it can help to lighten your scars uh, frankincense has been used for centuries for focus and for meditation. So for me right now, like in homeschooling, I like to diffuse frankincense or if you have like a work from home situation and maybe your kids are really loud and it's hard to focus, some frankincense could be good. I also like to put a drop of frankincense on my chest while we're doing our online church services. Uh, it really helps me to focus in and keep my mind from kind of going all over the place when we're not physically in our church building and I'm just watching it um, oftentimes from my bedroom. Okay, so next I want to talk about some of these emotional support oils that we have and there's actually four options that come in the starter kit. Uh, the first one I'll talk about is Stress Away. This one smells like a tropical vacation. It's got lavender and lime and cedarwood and some other really yummy oils inside here. This oil, like honestly, I feel like it's been made for me. Uh, it's just been so great for anxiety and panic, um, helping me with feelings of being overwhelmed. And then we also have Peace and Calming. 
This one's maybe just a touch sweeter smelling. It's got Lang Lang and Tangerine and Blue Tansy in it. We call this one the Tantrum Tamer in my house. Uh, when my kids are going crazy, I like to either put some in the diffuser for bedtime to just kind of bring it down for everybody. Uh, sometimes I'll put it right on the back of my kids' necks uh, if they're having a little bit of a freak out session and I just kind of want to help them through it, um, get that over a little bit faster. Valor has got blue spruce and some frankincense and geranium in it. it smells just a little bit more woodsy. Um, my husband really likes this one for work when he's got a big meeting. Valor is like your bravery oil. You put it on and you just feel like you can tackle pretty much anything. It's really pretty amazing. And then Citrus Fresh um, has basically all the citrus oils in it with a little bit of spearmint. And this one would be great to diffuse if you're having a hard time getting out of bed, um, getting motivated to do some things. It's really uplifting and so it's going to kind of give you a little bit more pep and help you um, conquer some things if you're feeling down during this time. Also really good if you have some stinky odors going on in your house, um, like put it on a cotton ball, stick it in a shoe, um, that'll help your shoes not smell so much, or if you have like a musty closet or your washing machine stinks, you could put this in a spray and spray it inside there to help freshen things up. All right, the next two oils I wanna talk about are Panaway and Raven. These guys have a childproof cap on the tops, so they are not recommended for children under the age of six, okay? Um, there is one called RC, which I kind of like to think of as Raven Child that we use with our kiddos. Raven is the one that Steve and I use. Uh, we like to make a chest rub. We'll put it on our chest with some coconut oil and you just smell it and it just opens things up. Uh, really great respiratory support. Kind of think of that rub that you had when you were a kid that your parents would put on you. This is a good um, substitute for that. Panaway I think smells kind of like root beer. Really great if you have like occasional soreness. Uh, when I've worked out and I'm just like really sore, I like to put it on my legs and it helps me be able to run after my kids a little bit better. Um, but basically um, it can be used anywhere on your body where you have some soreness. All right, let's talk about peppermint. Peppermint is great for aiding in digestion if you kind of struggle with that a little bit. I like to put it on my temples when I have like mild occasional headaches. Um, really nice in some water. I like one drop of peppermint to two drops of lemon. And it just kind of helps me drink more water to be honest. Um, if I'm putting oils in it and I've paid for my oils, you better believe I'm gonna drink that bottle of water throughout the afternoon. Um, so peppermint gives you energy paired with a uh, citrus oil. Um, it's really gonna help you like before a workout, get you motivated, get things going for your day. Lemon is great for all things that are sticky. So if you have some labels that you need to get off, either on a shoe or a bottle, lemon is gonna tackle that for you. Really great at cutting down like greasy things in your kitchen. I like to use lemon or citrus fresh in a scrub with some baking soda. Uh, if you have crayon or marker on your walls, this will take it off like so easy. You hardly have to use any like muscle to get it off. And that's also great for supporting your immune system, um, does a whole host, host of other things. Uh, Digize is my husband Steve's favorite oil. This one kind of smells licorice-y, it's got some fennel, some ginger in it. It's great for all things digestion, so think like heartburn, nausea, upset stomach, diarrhea, that sounded just like that commercial, but I think you get what I'm saying here. Um, you can put a drop of it under your tongue and it will support your body in that way. You could put it in a roller and roll it on. Um, if you're not too crazy about the smell, pair it with a little bit of the peppermint and that will help cut the smell. But my body actually has learned to um, associate the smell with relief and so I actually really like it now. I hated it at first. <laughs> And then we have Thieves. I think Thieves is like Young Living's most well-known essential oil. It is cinnamon, clove, lemon, rosemary, and eucalyptus. And this is the first thing I like to put on my kids when they get sick. I put it in the diffuser, I put it on their feet and their spine. Um, you know, there's bundles of nerves in your body um, and your feet and your hands are where those nerve ends come out. So that's a great place to apply this. Um, when you don't know where germs maybe are hiding out and you want to tackle and help support some of those things. 
We also include thieves in our hand soap. So we're constantly putting it on our hands, helping it to cleanse. I also really like to make a thieves tea. Um, I like to put it right on the tea bag before I add my water and let it steep and then add a little bit of honey. So one drop of thieves and one drop of lemon. Uh, the clove in here kind of helps to uh, numb your throat a little bit, so that's really great. And if you have teething babies, if you dilute this a lot, you can actually rub it on their gums and that numbing sensation is going to be a natural way to help support them through their teething process. All right, so those are the oils that come in the starter kit. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that Young Living is much more than just oils. Um, there's products for practically every area of your home that are plant-based without toxins or synthetic fragrances. Um, my favorite thing for sure is the Thieves Cleaner Concentrate. Uh, it makes a spray bottle of like plant-based cleaner for $1.65, which is super cheap. And it cleans like your whole house, seriously. So we use it from our counters, on our counters, to our wood floors, on mirrors, windows. Um, I sometimes will spray my couch if there's been like some sick people hanging out on that thing. I've used it to get poop out of my carpet. Um, Thieves Cleaner is just the jam. It's just, I don't know. It's like weird to say that you love a cleaner, but I really love Thieves Cleaner. And until you use it, you just don't know. It doesn't have any of those like harsh fumes. It doesn't make your hands burn. Uh, it just kind of smells a little bit like pumpkin spice, like kind of those fall vibes going on. And then I also really love their skincare line too. Just kind of makes that process a little bit nicer, you know, having to wash your face and moisturize and all of that um, when you're using really good products that feel luxurious on you. And then I do get a few um, vitamins like my calcium supplement from there as well. And their seed to seal promise applies to each and every product um, that they have. And so to make this more of a, it's kind of a whole lifestyle situation. Um, to make it more affordable, they have a program called Essential Rewards. And that's basically like a monthly wellness box that you get to customize that comes straight to your door. So it's a thrifty way to um, expand your essential oil collection, to start getting plant-based products into your house and kicking out other, you know, toxic synthetic yuck. Like the under my sink area in my kitchen has just been completely changed, you know. Maybe I'll have to show you a picture sometime. But it's got a few plant-based products in there and that's it. And it just feels so good to have some of those other chemicals just not lurking in my house. So anyways, back to essential rewards. Um, you start earning money back basically for every purchase you make. So you'll start earning 10% back right away. And I don't know, you probably have like a Target red card if you're a parent. And I love Target, don't get me wrong. But Target, you know, gets me 5% back, which is great. But Central Rewards, after four months, gives me 20% back. And then after 25 months, I get 25% back, which is in the category that I'm currently in. And you'd be amazed at how quickly that stacks up. I think within my first year, I earned over 300 points, which would be like $300 to spend on products. So we were able to switch out deodorant and all of these things that maybe we would budget money for um, that I had banked um, and was able to replace with better products for ourselves, you know, toothpaste, you know, all that, all that stuff that you need to keep using. So I just like to think of it as ordering from myself instead of ordering from the store. And that's actually how I get a lot of my oils for free. Um, they have different tiers of how much you spend and you get a whole bunch of like freebies all the time. So it's really, it's a great product, um, not product, excuse me, a great system um, if that's sort of the lifestyle that you are looking for. And when you get your starter kit, that can actually count for your first essential rewards order. So when you do that, you're going to get a free bottle of essential oil, depending on whatever month it may be. And then it's like getting a $10 account credit. I mean, who doesn't want that? It's free to start. You can cancel anytime. So you could literally have your starter kit be your purchase get your $10 and then cancel after and then use your $10 how you'd like on whatever you want. So that's kind of my little insider tip for you. So uh, when you purchase a starter kit with me, I like to give you a welcome package. And I basically am here to help plug you into a community. We have resource groups, um, 
to help you make sure you're getting the most out of your oils. There's all kinds of like online classes running all the time. And it's been really fun to just meet other people um, that are in similar life stages as me with similar ideas and concerns, um, especially in this time where we're, we're a little bit more isolated. It's been really nice to fall back on that Young Living community. And I'm here to get you plugged in for sure. And then I'm gonna toot my horn here for just a minute, but you also get me when you sign up with a starter kit through me. And so you get my knowledge and my heart for this, and I just really wanna make sure you're using your essential oils. Like seriously, nothing makes me sadder than when somebody buys oils, they stick them on a shelf, they collect dust, and they don't ever touch them again. Like essential oils are just way too powerful to waste, and I would love to help walk you through it. I really tend to focus on education. Um, we can take it at your pace, you know, one oil a day or one oil a week or whatever that looks like for you. I'm happy to come alongside you and help teach you and educate you. And lastly, I wanted to do a little bit of math because I was a math major in college. I don't know if you knew that, so it's going to get just a little nerdy up in here. Um, but if you take off the price of the diffuser, which is $65, you're basically left with $100 for 12 essential oils plus hand sanitizer, a sanitizing spray, which is great for your steering wheel, your cell phone, your shopping cart, all of that, and both are FDA approved. Um, and then you're going to get a couple Ningxia packets. So when you kind of count for all of that, each bottle of essential oil is only $7. $7! That's like grocery store prices. So... These things are bundled for you just to make it easy for you to get started. I'm sorry, I just I get so passionate about this because I just feel like everybody could include these things in their home, make their home a little bit healthier. And when you're healthier, you feel better, you just like have more, I don't know, love and ability to like reach out to others. Um, you know, we've been through periods of time where we've been very sick, especially after my son Oliver was first born, and it was super isolating and super lonely. And we adopted this natural lifestyle, and we have just been so much more well, is that a word, weller, more well, <laughs> um, that we've been able to really pour into other people's lives. And I just feel like that is what this is all about, really, for me. Sorry, that was really kind of a long tangent. Anyways. So, how do I order? Well, I have a sign-up link for you, or um, to make it super easy, if you just want to get me your information, I would be happy to create an account for you and pass along your username and your password, and bam, you're off and running. So if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm definitely not like going to pressure you about anything. Um, I'm here to support you, so please let me know how I can do that. Thanks.